Guys, I am reading this book. Hitting things to see in the sky. Alright, <laughs> let's go upstairs. I'm gonna have to bring this upstairs. Bye bye. I'm gonna go upstairs to record. My mom and dad's busy, so. I'm going upstairs. Okay. You guys have to wait a little. Ugh. Oh yeah, the sun is setting. I think it's gonna go. I think it's gonna be nighttime soon. But it's kind of cool to go outside when it's nighttime because if there's actually, if the constellations are out, you can you should go outside. There are many different types of constellations. Anyway, let's read. I'm gonna read fifty things to see in the sky, and I'm gonna read chapter four, five, six. Six chapters. Let's start back at chapter. Uh, let's go back to this. Let's start here. I mean, let's start here. Chapter four. Chapter four. The next North Star, Polaris region, as the North Star is in find find fin it fin it. A successor is waiting in the, in the wings. The star. Grammar selfie, also known as array, due to an effect effect called the precession of an equinox, the north celestial pole changes its position very slightly compared to the background stars in the sky. It is a cycle that repeats every twenty six thousand years or so. Wow, and it will. Be almost two thousand years before Grammar Selfie takes its place in the direction of the North Celestial Celestial Pole. In the meantime, however, this star is worthy of appreciation for two regions. Reasons: first, it is a double star which compresses a bright sun-like star, plus a dimmer, dimmer, red dwarf star orbiting. A common center of mass. This is called a binary binary system. Second, it has a planet. Grammar Selfie was the first binary star system to be found to have a planet, and its giant orbiting world is almost twice the size of Jupiter. Grammar Selfie is the constellation Selfis, the king. Right there is um, what was it? Grammar selfie, the king or the king. It looks like a roof, right? Or a triangular prism. This constellation is circumpolar, visible all year round, all year round, for regions far enough north and visible for as far as ten south, for at least ten, at least part of the year. It looks like a pe a, a bit of a bit like. A pentagon or a simple house shape, with grammar selfie as the tip of the roof, but it's not as, but it is not bright, but it's not bright as other, as bright as other constellations. So this constellation right here, it's not as bright as the other constellation. So it, it's pretty like not, so it's not that bright, but it's a good constellation. <laughs> Use the plot, Big Dipper, to find Polaris. See page 29. If you have this book, see, see page 29. That's where you'll find the Big Dipper. That's when you'll, that's where you'll find the Big Dipper and stuff like that. And, um, the Polaris, I think. Pull out a clenched fist at arm's length, placing one side next to Polaris on the other side of the of your fist in the opposite direction to the cloth. You should find Scrammer Selfie. So you do. So look right there. That's the Big Dipper. So you trace a line, imaginary line, from the Big Dipper to the Polaris, and you keep going until you meet the Grammar Selfie.